and it is early in the morning this morning I am headed to Snailville Georgia as one of my subscribers is having a few issues with one of the DIYs she did for my tutorial and I'm going on location to see exactly what she did and how I can help her fix it what went wrong And welcome to this episode of Redesigning Your Life with Teresa Twigs. This is what we do for our subscribers. Amen? Now my question is, did she follow instructions? Probably not. That's why it's so important to like, subscribe, and set your notifications. Listen, us YouTubers are serious about what we do. We're here to help, serve, and protect the design world. That is why I am on location to see exactly what's going on with this DIY tutorial. The drive is about an hour away, an hour and three minutes, GPS says. So I will be there shortly. Listen, you could be next. All right, y'all, I just arrived on location. Getting geared up, getting ready to go. I'm excited to see kind of what she did, what she created, and how I can assist and how I can help her. subscribers to hear and listen when you subscribe you never know that I'm I'm available okay so if you haven't go ahead and like subscribe set your notification okay to hear I got two questions for you okay number one did you follow the instructions all right because I did try to lay it out so as simple as possible for everybody the one two step three process okay um, if you look up in the link I'll post the DIY for the cabinet tutorial so you can click on that um, and find out how you can get your cabinets done and how you can do your cabinets um, and to hear the second question I got to ask you is how can I help you okay I am so excited Redesigning my space, redesigning my life. Yes, did I follow your instructions? I mean, I followed it, but maybe not to the T. And I'm certain that that's where my issue comes in. And I'm sorry, but I didn't know what to do. So I was like, hey. <laughs> And I appreciate you so much. Um, what is the emergency? How can you help? I just... I don't know that it's that bad, but I do want the piece to be great. And I know it could be. I know, you know, after watching the video, I was thinking I could really do something with this. Let me see what it is that I can do. So before I mess it up, I said, let me seek the professional. So that's why I said emergency help. Here. Don't judge now. But this is where I left off. Where you tried to sand it to fix some spots up. We're gonna fix that up. Um, yep, we're gonna get all this done. I see a lot of little paint drips, so I'm gonna show you some tricks on how to get those paint drips off. Also, do you see this gap? That's because when you put your hinges back, um, we need to adjust those hinges so that closes perfectly. But all in all, you did great. I'm here to help. Emergency 911 to the rescue. We're gonna get these cabinets look like pottery barn, y'all. Fresh off the showroom floor, looking brand new. Y'all stay tuned. Yo, if you haven't already, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Set your notifications, baby, because we are here.
All right, so I had to run with to here to Home Depot real quick because we needed to make a quick run to get a few things. One was her roller. I noticed that the roller she used was not the best quality, so it's not gonna give her the cleanest finish that we want. So we got a higher quality roller. We also got a different paintbrush. Her paintbrush is now a higher quality paintbrush, so her strokes um, will be a little bit smoother. Um, and then also, we're gonna add a finish to the sides of the top of her cabinet. So we're cutting some wood, we're getting ready. I can't wait to see the finished product. Confession, y'all. We have a confession. We can't do nothing before we, but. Get something to eat, please. Get something to eat. Listen, if you don't have a paint pan, then you improvise. Okay, so this will work just for us. Um, Tia's gonna put a thin coat of paint. This is her first coat. The black that you see on there now is just spray paint. She spray painted it. You can use spray paint it as a primer. Um, and so she's just gonna do a thin coat. Um, being careful not to get dripped. So Tia, notice, just for future, you see how it's kind of thick in here? You wanna make sure you get that so it's not, um, it'll dry just like that. So you want to make sure you get a thin coat and it's very, very smooth when it goes on. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding this cabinet down. If you notice, there's a lot of spots where you can see thick paint, um, where the paint is not evenly on, and we're going to fix all of that. I love having helpers, but remember, helpers is what got us in the situation in the first place. So when you have little helpers that want to help, make sure you have them paint things like the back of the cabinet and things that are unseen. I was so intimidated. Oh, y'all, we are finally done. Thank you so much, Teresa, for coming because I know <laughs> I wouldn't have got it done without you. I wanted to quit, but it wasn't nearly as hard as I thought. Thank you for teaching me so many little tips and tricks and y'all better be careful, be watch out because I, I want to try this again on something else. <laughs> okay, so Tahira, what inspired you to do this DIY challenge? Honestly, your video inspired me to do this DIY challenge. You make it so simple and easy, it makes me think that I can do anything. So that's what I did and I went online and decided to find me some cabinets and believe it or not I found these for free for free so excited and my biggest expense hardware and what were they maybe four or five dollars a piece you know it was completely worth it I have some amazing cabinets for a few dollars because of why Teresa redesigned my space <laughs> All right, y'all, so that's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget, not only will I help you spruce up your space, I'll help you spruce up your life. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Many blessings.